The Biden White House used this day to politicize the worst terrorist attack in American history and declare war on you. Chuck Todd was a setup man and compared Republicans to terrorists. And Kamala Harris took the bait. Watch. We're now, as a nation, battling a threat from within. Is the threat equal or greater than what we faced after 9-11? There's an oath that we always take, which is to defend and uphold our Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And um, we don't compare the two in the oath, but we know they both can exist and we must defend against it. NBC News suggested Trump voters are a bigger threat than al-Qaeda on 9-11. How did the vice president of the United States respond? That she will defend against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That was a declaration of war. Make no mistake, the Democratic Party, the media, and obviously the FBI have designated the Republican Party as a terrorist group and believe it's their patriotic duty as Americans to extinguish the threat. How exactly voting for Donald Trump is a threat? Well, how is that more dangerous than the 9-11 hijackers? ISIS terror cells plotting to blow up the Brooklyn Bridge? The Democrats won't call them Islamic terrorists. But if you voted for Donald Trump and have a personal grievance, you're a fascist. And Homeland Security is coming for you. This is how the Democrats explain it. The stunning thing to me is here we are 20 years later and the attack on the symbol of our democracy was not coming from terrorists, but it came from literally insurgents attacking the Capitol on January 6th. How important it is uh, to try to deal with extremism of any kind, uh, especially when it uses violence to try to achieve political and ideological uh, goals. When 9-11 occurred in those in those years, we were very focused on the foreign terrorists. Now um, we are seeing an emerging threat, of course, over the last several years of the domestic violent extremists, an ideology of hate, anti-government sentiment, false narratives propagated on online platforms, even personal grievances. That was the sitting U.S. senator, a former secretary of state, and the secretary of Homeland Security just casually pivoting from 9-11 to January 6th. Did you guys notice how casual that was? They just said Khalid Sheikh Mohammed is Stephen Miller with a beard. I remember during the Bush years when Democrats would howl at Republicans for, quote, politicizing 9-11 because they were a little flag pin. Now Democrats declared a war on terror against Republicans on the anniversary of 9-11. What makes you a terrorist again? Because you have personal grievances? Well, I have a personal grievance. Is that going to put me on a no-fly list? You're a terrorist for believing in false narratives? If I believe Hunter's laptop is real, am I going to Gitmo? And the big guy sounds like W, except the enemy is a red hat instead of a box cutter. I will not wait on events while dangers gather. I will not stand by as peril draws closer and closer. I will not stand by and watch. I will not stand by and watch elections in this country stolen by people who simply refuse to accept that they lost. They embrace tyranny and death as a cause and a creed. We stand for a different choice. MAGA Republicans have made their choice. They embrace anger. They thrive on chaos. They live not in the light of truth, but in the shadow of lies. This is Biden's war on terror. He's straight up saying, you're either with us or you're against us. When the Bush administration was spying on Muslims, raiding their homes and arresting them, the Democrats were up in arms, remember? What about the terrorist rights? Bush has gone too far. Now Biden's using Bush's war on terror language and tactics against Republicans, American citizens. But now Biden's prosecutors are reportedly negotiating a plea deal for the 9-11 terrorists held up at Gitmo, including mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. A plea deal for 9-11 terrorists on the anniversary of 9-11. The left is softer on radical Islam than they are on Republicans. Remember, Barack Obama couldn't even say the words Islamic terrorists. Why do you still refuse to use the term racially I'm sorry, Islamic terrorist. What I have been careful about 
when I describe these issues is to make sure that we do not lump these murderers into the billion Muslims that exist around the world, including in this country, who are peaceful, who are responsible. I mean, they wouldn't call Benghazi a terrorist attack. ISIS terror cells plotting to blow up the Brooklyn Bridge. Democrats won't call them Islamic terrorists, but if you voted for Donald Trump and have a grievance, you're a fascist. And they're going to get you. And these journalists who are all picked last in gym are the first ones to enlist in this war. They finally found an enemy of America that they didn't want to side with. Not only are Republicans the same thing as terrorists, they're worse than terrorists. Al-Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, the Taliban, the people who wanted to do harm to our nation and to our way of life and our democracy, they got nothing on what this Republican Party is doing. I'm, I'm working hard to never say Republican Party again, because it's not a party, right? They're Sinn Féin to the IRA, they're, they're the PLO to Hamas. They're a dime store front for a terrorist movement. They are a destructive force in American politics. They are basically a domestic terrorist cell operating within America. Their goal is to end democracy. Democrats went from saying not all Muslims are terrorists to all Republicans are terrorists. And the New York Times likes this new war, too. The New York Times calls the MAGA movement anti-American. This is the first time the New York Times has not defended something anti-American. And they're saying there's proof of it everywhere you look. Trump is leading an assault on the institutions of American self-government, and that assault implicates much of the Republican Party. The American left has been leading an assault on our institutions for decades. This party's hell-bent on packing the court scrapping the Electoral College, defunding the police, abolishing ICE, banning free speech online, ripping away your Second Amendment, nuking the filibuster. The Democratic Party burned down cities. The summer of 2020 was much deadlier than January 6th. They tried to assassinate a Supreme Court justice. They're tearing down statues of Thomas Jefferson and renaming schools named after Abe Lincoln. What is this really about? It's about questioning the legitimacy of an election. That's what the whole thing's about. But if questioning an election makes you a terrorist, then the Democratic Party should be on the FBI's most wanted list. Because more Democrats believe that the 2016 election was stolen than Republicans believe 2020 was stolen. Yes, it's Democratic when Democrats make up a giant Russian collusion hoax and still cry rigged to this day. Might as well put these people on a watch list. Many other Americans believe that we have a president who, if in fact it is proven, uh, has been assisted by the Russians and may in fact not be a legitimate president. It's illegitimate. And my biggest fear is that he's going to do it again with the help of Vlad, his best pal. Would you be my vice president for candidate? <laughs> but... <laughs> Folks, look, I absolutely agree. You can run the best campaign. You can even become the nominee. And you can have the election stolen from you. There was no evidence that the 2016 election was rigged. Mueller never found any, and he was the Democrats' guy. But if you point out that the FBI, the CIA, big tech, and big media conspired to drag Joe over the finish line, that's one of the narratives that make you an enemy of the state. The Democrats have no appetite for fighting jihadists, the Chinese, or the drug cartels. This war on Republicans, it's a war of choice. It's a preemptive war. So the Republican Party never wins another election. And that is the real threat to democracy. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.